Good day YouTube. This is a bit of a comparison video between MX Linux on the left and Linux Mint on the right, so grab your stein of coffee and let's get started. Okay, so starting off, MX Linux 19.3 on the left and uh, Linux Mint 20.1 XFCE edition on the right. So if we were to have a bit of a chat about these, uh, I would firstly tell you that uh, on the left, uh, MX Linux is actually based on Debian, Debian stable in fact, but uh, on the right, as you might guess, Linux Mint is actually based off Ubuntu, which is in turn based on Debian, so uh, imagine that. Anyway, uh, I thought this was a pretty good comparison because you will find that they are actually both running on the XFCE desktop environment there. A little bit different, a little bit stylized depending on the color and the uh, well, the, the actual operating system itself, the theme, colorization, all of that there, but hey. And if we move on a little bit further, we might even find the file managers in themselves are also the same, although looking a bit different in terms of the, the, the color customization they prefer to use. So Thuna, both 1.8.x. Uh, in fact, they do look a, a smidge different there, but uh, probably the biggest difference there of which is the color. Let's see if we can zoom up and make it look, even the icons are a little bit different, but hey, it's the same file manager, fully fully operational, fully usable, you know, it's uh, lightweight but still a great one there. If we were to move on just a little bit further and have a look at the kernel they uh, both of these guys use, uh, we will find that MX Linux does use a much older kernel because it is running on the, the Debian stable branch, whereas uh, the Linux Mint, I won't say the latest and greatest, but a lot newer in comparison, which is nice to see if you've got newer hardware. Uh, if we were to move across to the, uh, the CPU and RAM usage, particularly the RAM, straight off the bat, we're running at about 450, 470 megabytes of RAM, straight off the bat there for MX Linux, nothing really loaded in the background, except of course for the operating system. And then on the right hand side, we have uh, Linux Mint uh, 20.1, running on about 520 megabytes of RAM, so just a, just a slight marginal amount more, uh, which is uh, probably 50 megabytes right now, which is uh, perhaps you might say is interesting because they are running on the same front end interface, but the back end is uh, a little bit different in a way there, probably a few less lines of codes for sure when it comes to the kernel and the MX Linux side of things. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for all the support, and I do hope to see you guys there in the next one. Cheers.